Imagine yourself lost in the midst of lush greenery. Visualize yourself as an active participant in a holy mission as envisaged by Sri Ramakrishna and spread globally by Swami Vivekananda. Think of a location where knowledge and technical empowerment lead to the attainment of self-reliance. A site where the very idea of rural development finds its truest meaning. What you get is a wonderful canvas. A wholesome mosaic called Ramakrishna Mission Ashrama Narendrapur. Come up, O lions, and shake off the delusion that you are sheep. You are souls immortal, spirits free, blessed and eternal. This message of Swami Vivekananda is the elixir which vitalizes the heartbeat of Ramakrishna Mission Ashrama Narendrapur. In fact, the same is translated by this center through the twin ideals, sacrifice and service, which inspire the inmates, the ashramites, who share a sense of belonging, of togetherness. The sprawling educational complex at Narendrapur, the most illustrious example of Ramakrishna Mission's contribution to the advancement of humanity, of the many educational institutions run by the mission throughout India, this one is surely the most comprehensive. Narendrapur is Swamiji's dream, made real by the deft hands of Swami Lukeshwarananda. Nineteen forty-three, the Bengal famine broke out. Hardest of times, disease, despair, and death everywhere. In such a critical period, the journey of Ramakrishna Mission Narendrapur began in North Kolkata at Pathuriya Ghata with the aim to provide care and service to the poor and the helpless. महाराज the then secretary of the Paturiya Ghata branch was a visionary who looked beyond. 
a vision to serve the humanity and expand the activities to create a man making institution patrigatar ashram nishamge amar jiboner somporko otoproto bhabe jorito hoye ache sei ashram protishtha dine chhatro bolte ami ekai chilam ei jonno porobortikale जो लोकेशानंद जी महाराज हाँ के परिचय कर स्नेह कर बोलत और सच्चिदानंद हे ओखान आश्रम प्रथम छात्र प्रथम दारवान प्रथम कर्मी जे दिए हाँ के सम्मान कर बोलत अर्थात आश्रम हार आगे छात्रावास हार आगे छात्र हार सौभाग्य पे इन सेंटर वज रिलोकेटेड to Narendrapur since then it has grown into an immense site a buzz with multifarious activities the ramakrishna mission ashram in narendrapur owes a lot to its main architect late swami lokeshwarananda ji maharaj under whose leadership the 150 acre stream complex has its multi dimensional existence as it stands today swami vivekananda wanted that education must be such that uh, everybody must stand on his own feet so after this 75 years from the inception of narendrapur we can see that our students those who are holding very important administrative posts in india and also outside they are standing there on their own feet and they are spreading the message of swami vivekananda we are also try- trying to spread swami ji's message as far as possible with the help of his grace as well as our own commitment and dedication The fully residential model adheres to the classical concept of guru grihobash. The students live in close proximity of the teachers and imbibe the man-making, character-building values that Swami Vivekananda emphasized on. The journey was fraught with challenges. While hands of love and care were stretched, thorns of resistance and non-cooperation lay in the way. In the face of all odds, the quest for excellence championed and emerged victorious. Patronage and contributions of great souls like Mahesh Chand Khanna and Dr. Pulin Bihari Sarkar help the ashrama reach heights of magnificence
The Shishu Vidya Bithi provides education in a non-residential system to standards 1 to 4 in a beautiful and cheerful school ambience. The boys' residential higher secondary school named Ramakrishna Mission Vidyalaya has two major divisions, junior and senior, while the junior comprises students from class 5 to 7. The senior accommodates boys from class 8 to 12. Each division is self-sufficient with spacious school buildings, hostels, playgrounds and facilities of health care. Sports and other extracurricular activities are integral parts of the routine. The creative faculties are also taken care of through the practice of fine arts and other performing arts. The Ramakrishna Mission Residential College, the Residential Postgraduate Autonomous College for Boys, the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, has given it the rare honor and prestigious fellowship of CERO, Science and Industrial Research Organization. Students can pursue undergraduate and postgraduate studies in science and arts subjects as well. The University of Calcutta has granted the college autonomy, thus allowing it to conduct undergraduate and postgraduate courses and examinations, along with publishing the results independently. The college has four wings dedicated to the pursuit of research under the departments of physics and chemistry. The National Accreditation and Assessment Council, NAAC, has recognized their achievements in the above fields by awarding grade A. While the main campus of the Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda University is at the Belur Mat, a subsidiary campus is located at Narendrapur. It is also known as the Integrated Rural Development and Management Faculty Center, IRTM. The postgraduate and research wings here give the learners enough scope to realize and execute Swami Vivekananda's ideas on education. Established in September 2009 
the quality testing laboratory possesses the most sophisticated instruments for analysis, identification and quantification of natural and synthetic products. Nearly 900 samples of natural and synthetic medicinal products have so far been analyzed here, attracting the medicinal plant cultivators from all over the state. It aspires to act as a quality certifying agency for the medicinal plants and pharmaceutical analysis and estimation of samples from the Ashramas Ayurvedic Hospital are also regularly done here. The Ashrama grows a medicinal plants garden on a two hectare plot. Its objective is to maintain a conservatory of the most usual and important species of medicinal and aromatic plants which are used in day-to-day -day health care. Plants under serious threats of extinction are nurtured here too. The garden houses over 388 species of herbs, shrubs and orchids. The Ashrama Ayurvedic Hospital is frequented by people from far off locations, let alone the locals. It provides all-round treatment, diagnosis and medicine both to the outpatients and the in-house ones, more than 60,000 every year. There are departments of general medicine, eye care, ENT, dental care, pathology, child care, skin care, cardiology, radiology and USG. Besides a good number of doctors and technicians who are permanent employees, many visiting specialists serve here as well. ECG, X-ray, USG, TMT machines and thalassemia detection units operate as and when required. Adjacent to the Ayurvedic Hospital, there is a charitable dispensary providing free allopathic medicine, consultation and treatment to the patients. The world becomes nothing but black. Darkness engulfs my world. Where are the colors gone? Where are the lights? I want nothing more. Only want to see again. Give me back my vision. Give me back the beauty. There's maybe a sightless world, but not without a vision. The Blind Boys Academy BBA was founded in 1957 with an aim to provide care and vision to the boys who are visually challenged.